historically, when rivers were a bit less well understood, a lot of roads, bridges, any sort of crossing, dams, weirs, were built on our rivers. So that basically broke the connectivity of the rivers. And this created quite a large issue for Australian native fish. Our fish tend not to be able to pass large obstacles in rivers. So now that we have a better understanding of what our native fish require, we can go through and start to remove these fish barriers, allowing the river to flow naturally again. Other times when that structure is sort of necessary, we can go through and put what's called a, a fishway or a fish ladder in, which is basically a series of rocks that are sort of designed to slow the flow of water past the structure. And that allows our little native fish to sort of swim up in those little gaps in the rock through the slower flowing water to sort of stepping stone their way up over the structure. So the other key project we've been working on is environmental water, and that's the regulated release of water from Rocklands Reservoir into the Glenelg River. For native fish, environmental watering is really important. It connects refuge pools, but it also gives them a chance to migrate up and down the river. It also improves water quality, and that's important for fish that don't move. You know, they need to make sure the water quality is suitable so they can complete their life history, raise their young, or make sure that where they um, spawn, they actually have good water quality for juvenile fish to be able to continue the life cycle. We've seen some amazing results in environmental watering. Blackfish numbers have increased by 75%, which is nearly unheard of anywhere else in the state or anywhere else in Australia. But also Chupong numbers have also increased. They've continued to uh, migrate up the river where they haven't been since um, Rocklands was put in place. So we are now starting to see the benefits of four years hard work. We are starting to see uh, great recruitment and great conditions in the river where fish are actually thriving now. We get a lot of anecdotal evidence from farmers and things up in some of the towns further north who sort of talk about as kids catching these fish and they'd sort of sort of dropped off or weren't seen anymore and um, now that we've restored fish passage to the river, yeah, people are catching them again and that's yeah, pretty cool to hear those stories. There's always estuary perch, but not in the numbers what they are now. But we've also noticed the comeback of the humble tupon. You can catch them on a line whereas you wouldn't five years ago. And then the smaller fish as well, there's more minnows around. The brim population's always been really plentiful, there's no shortage of brim anywhere. But they're as healthy and they're breeding, you get brim from 2 inches long to 18 inches long now. So there's any amount of fish in there.